It's a city where anything can happen. So what could go wrong or right as I hit up LA Unscripted from Elysian Valley? Cafes and concerts, bike paths and bars, set alongside a two and a half mile stretch of the LA River, nestled between the two and the five freeways, there is a hidden gem of a neighborhood. Welcome to Frogtown, everyone. I'm Dana Devon, and we hopped off script here to the Elysian to find out why this urban oasis is so totally awesome. Frogtown is a nickname for Elysian Valley. And I think it's been kind of a working class neighborhood for decades. And now that is obviously changed. When we first moved to Elysian Valley, we moved here in 2002. My wife and I were looking for a house and decided we didn't want to live in a house. So we started looking at buildings like this. What was it before? It was a small manufacturing facility that made resin molds for porcelain products. We're standing in what used to be a parking lot. Oh, in 2002, so this was a parking lot. And we wow. tore out the asphalt, planted all this bamboo and the sycamore. We had been using the space as living and studio space uh, for film and photographic works. And we moved out, thought, well, we can do private events here. We've done some leadership workshop things here, film production, television production, shoots, baby showers, bar mitzvahs. My wife and runs an organization called Clock Shop. It's an arts production, arts organization, and they've used the space in the past for a music series. Clock Shop is an arts organization that I founded with the mission to bring arts and culture to public space in Los Angeles. So we use this space to do events, um, conversations, um, often inviting artists to talk with people in other fields where their interests intersect. We have a full commercial kitchen, we have a full bar, and then a number of smaller areas that are divided with panel walls, um, and those are seating areas or lounge areas, or they can actually be emptied out and configured. It's kind of like a blank canvas. You really could make this into anything you wanted it to be. Yeah. That's a hidden gem. I would say if your party, or what you have in mind is, is at the scale that we want to accommodate at this point, then come check it out. Something else to croak about? I have been told there aren't even any frogs here. So how did this niche neighborhood get its moniker? Jumping on over to Liberty Chan to tackle that. Well, Dana, technically we're in a part of LA called Elysian Valley, right by the LA River, but everyone around here calls this place Frogtown. So where did the name Frogtown come from? Apparently, according to local legend, back in the day, we're talking 1930s and 40s, there would be heavy rains. After the rains, there would be a ton of toads and frogs that would come out of the LA River and invade this town. Hence the name Frogtown. I kind of like it. Great amphibian info, Lib. Maybe we should call you Amphib Lib. Okay, but do you know why frogs are so happy? Because they eat whatever bugs them. <laughs> I'll be here all week. All right, and you know who never bugs and is always ribbiting? Our Jasmine Simpkins. Let's see what she's hopped up on today. Okay, Dana, while you guys are exploring Frogtown, I'm getting a jump start on my holiday shopping because finding a gift for Mama Simpkins is gonna take a leap of faith and a whole lot of sparkle. Welcome to Macy's at South Coast Plaza. I am looking for something really special for my mom and she loves diamonds. Of course, who doesn't? So Portfolio by De Beers Forever Mark is a brand new line of diamond jewelry that's chic, it's trendy, it's accessible, and it's truly perfect for life's everyday moments. We have rings and stackable rings and bracelets and necklaces. So what is she, what is the ideal gift for her? Oh, she likes it all. De Beers has more than 130 years of diamond expertise and really individually selects diamonds that are beautiful, rare, and responsibly sourced to become De Beers Forever Mark. Look how amazing that, that looks is so on you. Pretty. Varieties come in all shapes and sizes, and that means there is something for everyone's budget. 
Um, this is a collection that's truly accessible and really perfect for everyday style. You never can have too much bling. Never. You know? Diamonds are a girl's best friend. They really are. Oh my gosh. Less than 1% of all the world's natural diamonds are even eligible to become De Beers Forever Mark. So you can truly see the difference in the sparkle and the beauty of a De Beers Forever Mark diamond. You'll find jewelry to either gift yourself or a loved one, and even some beautiful diamond engagement rings and wedding bands to express that ultimate gift of love. Oh yeah. One for Mama Simpkins, one for Jasmine. And don't forget the earrings. Adriana, you're gonna take my whole paycheck. The collection is available exclusively in 14 karat gold, but you can find it in a variety of colors from white gold, to yellow gold, to rose gold, to really mix and match. So I think I'm gonna take one of everything. Okay, all right. And we'll just charge it to LA Unscripted. I'll take that credit card now. Okay. And from ice on your wrist to a slice you can't resist, check out this Santa Monica pizzeria with glitter pies. It's really just a fun thing that we do. Great for kids' parties, great for Pride Month. We've just been having a blast doing it for about four or five years now. The glitter is totally edible, FDA approved. It's made for human consumption. Dagwood's Pizza is just the most loved mom and pop pizza shop around. We've got some really fun pizzas that you're not gonna find anywhere else. We've got a Korean barbecue pizza, of course, the magical unicorn pizza. They're so sparkly. They're precious. Pizza and Wait, rainbow. we're just gonna stare at it? We're super psyched to celebrate the one year anniversary of LA Unscripted. We were one of the first companies to appear on the show and we are really happy to be back and celebrate with some awesome magical pizza with you guys. Dagwoods have been around for approximately 20 years. Dagwoods for a long time has placed a big emphasis on our community. We have always felt that we've got to give back to the people that come in and give to us every day. We have give back nights almost every Tuesday of every month where a certain percentage of whatever uh, money is made will go back to the schools. We donate all of our leftover food to the homeless shelters in the area. And we've got gluten-free options. We've got plenty of sandwich options, salad options pasta options, we kind of run the full gamut of Italian food and it is all super good. Seriously, try the lasagna. It is one of the most underrated lasagnas in Los Angeles. We have a great time doing what we do and we love every day of work. Coming up, Deli Delight, why this super small sandwich shop inside a shipping container has such a big following. Our Megan Tellis takes a bite. Plus, Liberty gets baked and glazed, making ceramics, of course. Jeez, people, what'd you think when I said baked? LA Unscripted from Elysian in Frogtown. We will leap right back. Southeast of Silver Lake, there's a progressive pocket community that's two and a half miles of hipster cool. Welcome back to LA Unscripted from the Elysian in Frogtown. I'm Dana Devon. At about 17,000 Angelinos kissed a lot of frogs to call this prince of a place home. Does that even make sense? Probably not. But anyway, Elysian Park means playground of the angels and fun is exactly what happens here. Well, the space is, is um very flexible and when you come into the property you're coming into this 5,000 square foot exterior space. We've done everything from you know large larger scale weddings to small things and now we're a seated dinner for 30 people like if you're turning 40 and then the cocktail type of party for 50 to 75 people. Also heating up just down the street cobalt and clay. Lib getting her hands dirty for this one. No, 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 Dana. This girl not getting dirty. I have my apron on. I have the professional here, Nicole. She's going to teach us how to make some pottery here in Frogtown, cobalt and clay. So my grandparents moved here actually in 1970. 
Um, I was born and raised in Frogtown. Growing up in LA, being a Hispanic woman, I never thought that a creative career was even an option. My name's Nicole Reyes, and I'm the owner of Cobalt and Clay. I didn't touch clay till a little later in life, so I was a junior in college, so I was like, you know, 20, 22 years old. Um, but I just felt like the moments my hand touched the clay, it just kind of opened up a new kind of creative field. Oh gosh. And then left hand's really strong, just push away towards that table. And I feel like the moment I started to make money off of clay, like selling, you know, my own pottery and just realizing this is a possibility. There's the, the rings on the wheel head. You're gonna aim for that center circle and you're gonna smack it down. Okay, awesome. Cobalt and Clay is a community ceramic studio and we specialize in classes, workshops, and memberships. I think what makes Cobalt and Clay unique as far as uh, pottery is just the community setting. We are a smaller studio compared to other studios in the LA area. We're also very uh, family oriented. You get that really kind of small like mom and pop restaurant feel that um, some like creative spaces could potentially lack. Two of our well-known teachers right now, they came when they were 18. They just graduated high school, both of them, so now they're in college. It's just been amazing to see them grow along with the business. And then squeeze your hands together. And then at the top, gently let go. One, two, three, let go. Good job. I think it's just honestly really what speaks about pottery to people is um, just the kind of taking a step back from technology. You know, post COVID times, you know, we spent, it was a really tech heavy year for the world. Once you start throwing something or creating, it just takes you to a space of just calmness and peacefulness and just understanding, you know, the coffee mug that you have in your hands in the morning you created a month ago, like with your hands, it's just a beautiful process. All right, Nicole, I know it doesn't look like much, but it's my little baby and I'm really proud of it. Thank you, Lib. Okay, so what would a stylish frog wear for a visit here? A jumpsuit, of course. <laughs> Kill myself. All right, stock up, because the neighborhood is expecting a lot more house hunters to hop on the Frogtown bandwagon. Megan Tellis is here with the Rise to Urbanize. Okay, Dana, I have my high heels on, but I am coming up here. I am falling in love with Frogtown. Take a look at this. This is a cool bicycle cafe. It is called Spoke. You can rent bikes, you can eat some grub, hang out with friends. And then, okay, looking both ways, crossing the road here, and you have the oh-so-famous LA River, where a lot of cool things like going kayaking can go down in the water right there. And did you know that each and every year there is an art show? Now, after COVID, it's gonna happen every other year. It's free, it's open to the public, and it happens each and every fall. That's where we're coming, girlfriend. Those tadpole millennials and Gen Zers sure love those live-work developments. All right, we have more cool coming up. The Tongue and Cheek Cafe serving up mile high sandwiches named after your favorite NPR host. Ira Glass, hold the sprouts. LA Unscripted from Frogtown will be back before you can rip it. COVID has thrown things all out of whack for a lot of people. There are different sources of income coming in, uh, unemployment, child tax credit. A lot of people got second jobs. Did you guys pick up extra jobs during COVID? Okay. Yeah. Well, during COVID, did you pick up any extra jobs here and there? Okay, what did you do? The way people work has changed. They're getting paid 1099, they're gig workers, DoorDash, Uber, Lyft, uh, maybe they're famous on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. They're getting money from sponsorships and different sources that pay them 1099. A lot of these people don't realize how much they're gonna owe in taxes until it's too late. Uh, the key is talk to a tax professional, see if setting up an LLC, uh, tax planning or tax strategy can save you money. Tax relief advocates can help you with any phase of taxes, uh, business taxes, personal taxes, tax preparation, if you owe the IRS money, all good candidates. What comes to mind when I say the word taxes? Bills. When it comes to the word taxes, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Money. <laughs> it's always beneficial to talk to a tax professional, even if they tell you, hey, you're maximizing all your deductions, your tax planning looks great. But, you know, best case scenario, they're gonna find money for you. And that's money you could use for a vacation or to pay for repairs. Uh, money that's gonna stay in your pocket instead of the IRS's pocket. 
easiest way to find tax relief advocates is to go online to tra.com. You can also call 1-800-575-1917. You know, one key thing, life is unscripted. Your taxes don't need to be. Town. There is a whole lot to do here, so let's check back in with Megan Tellis and see what's hopping with her. Yeah, that's right, Dana. Right here in the heart of Frogtown on the corner of Blake and Knox, you have the adorable sandwich shop, which is in a shipping container. It is called Wax Paper, and I'm going to meet up with the owners, but first, knock, knock. Hi, welcome. Lauren and Peter Lemos, do they happen to be here? They are. The owners? Yes. Okay, let's meet them. It's amazing. It is not for everyone. There's just something about us as a team that works. We're really different people, which is like a huge benefit. I kind of start things and Peter kind of closes them or vice versa. We met working in a restaurant, so it was just kind of meant to be. So we started dating back in 2012, got engaged in 2013 and married in 2014. We started working on wax paper six to eight months after we got married. We're gonna make a sandwich. I think I know how to make a good sandwich, but you're the pro, so we're gonna do some turkey yeah. and cheese today? Yeah, okay. our Terry Gross, turkey, pepper jack, and a slaw. Hi. Then we have green chili aioli. Oh, I love an aioli. Wax Paper was Peter's thought. He is a huge fan of music. We're both huge music fans. Records used to be made of wax, so that was kind of the part, but mainly wax paper comes from the old school tradition of wrapping your sandwiches in wax paper. So that's a portion of turkey. So warm bread, very cold meat, which I yeah. love. So this is the slaw. Working on the slaw here. The vibe is definitely community. We have a ton of local fare, local vendors. Our bread is baked just up the street, like literally up the street on Riverside, Bub and Grandma's. Also, our sesame rolls come from France Bakery, which is on Fletcher. We sell chips from Lavash Factory, which is right behind us. You can smell them baking their bread at four. The Krugermans, they're a pickle factory. They've been here for 50 years. We name all of our sandwiches after NPR hosts. You don't realize it, but the names are so iconic. The people are so iconic. And it's stuck. People, do they yeah. get it when they come? People get it. Local, unique, niche, it's kind of something different. The sandwich is a classic thing and it's our spin on it. So I love it that we have the soft yeah. warm bread, the cold aioli, the yeah. cool meat, and then a lot of crunch. Okay, toast. Yeah. Salud. Cheers. Take a bite. Oh my God. Okay, question for you. What do frogs do with paper? They rib it. <laughs> I love that. I think wax paper needs to add a Danomite. That would be my ultimate sandwich and it would be basically Thanksgiving between two pieces of bread, right? All right, I do not, however, think that is what Jessica Holmes is whipping up. Let's check it out. I love nachos. And I was thinking, what's a way to kind of come up with something where it's a little bit healthier and it has more veggies and different ingredients? And then I saw a recipe for Greek nachos and I thought, okay, I can get down with Greek nachos. So let me start with the veggies. I'll cut up some green pepper. We dice it pretty small. Then from the green pepper, do a little onion. Now I'm gonna go bring these to the pan behind me. Now I'm gonna add the garlic, two cloves, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the veggies out. Okay, time for the lamb. Let's get it in. Add a little salt, some pepper. And then another thing I wanna add, which I really think is very Greek, obviously, oregano. So a good amount of oregano. Time to top the nachos. So our lamb is cooked and I got pita chips, plain. They're, they're not even salted. <laughs> Man overboard. And we try to just get as much of it across the nachos. You don't wanna waste any of the goodness, the onions, the peppers, the garlic, the pine nuts. And now to the cheese. For melting purposes, this is a Mexican style four cheese blend. Now you put them in the oven under the broiler just until the cheese melts and then we're gonna top it with our veggies. 
One of my favorite Greek condiments is tzatziki. So the grating of the cucumber is the most time consuming thing with tzatziki. There's your cucumber. I'll put it on some paper towel or a towel, whatever. And then you wrap it up. Look at this. All of that would make your sauce watery. Get our bowl and we'll add the Greek yogurt. Full fat, sour cream, a good dollop. Stir that around. Tzatziki needs a lot of garlic. It's a very garlicky condiment. So I grate a good amount of salt because the sour cream and the Greek yogurt doesn't have any salt. A good amount of lemon. And then this is where you really check the seasonings and say, oh, needs a little more garlic, needs a little more salt. To top our nachos, I'm gonna start with the spinach and then chopped tomatoes. Some of the Kalamata olives is some marinated artichoke hearts. It's all of your favorite Greek flavors, but made in the nachos. Hmm, I wonder how Jess would serve up some frog's legs. They taste like chicken. Sorry, Kermit. All right, that is it for us today from Frogtown. Thank you so much to the Elysian for letting us go off script at your amazing event space. They are taking bookings now. All right, where will LAU be next? We are hopping all over the place. You never know where we will pop up next. We'll see you next time. Mwah.